What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Tweet, back with another beat, as you can see. Today, I tried to do a little tropical look for y'all. And if you would like to see how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. Alright y'all, so I already primed my eyes with my P. Louise base in number two. I've been loving it ever since I got it. And we're gonna go into the Zulu palette again today. Because it was just so cute last time. So first I'm gonna go into the teal matte shade and put that all in my crease. Then I'm gonna go right on top of that with the, the orange shade and blend it all out. Okay, so we're not gonna cut the crease, but I'm gonna put a little bit of that base right on my lid area so these shimmers can show up great. So it doesn't have to be perfect. So we're gonna go into the teal color shimmer and the green shimmer. I'm gonna put the teal in the middle of my lid and then the green right on the inside. Now you just want to go in and make sure everything is blended out nicely and seamless. Okay, so we're going to do lashes and under eyelash. We're going to go on into the face. So today, I'm going to be using my Juvia's Place products again. But I'm going to try it with the Fenty Soft Matte Primer. I'm not gonna use too much. Try not to. I didn't even know I had this in. Now I'm gonna highlight with the I Am Magic Concealer in the shade 12 and contour with the shade 4. So I'm gonna talk about these um, Juvia's Place products for a little bit. I really love everything that I got. And these shadows are just like the bomb.com. Um, the concealer, I just feel like the concealer moves around too much and it just doesn't stay in place even after you set it. So zero out of 10, I would not recommend. I'm just playing, but for real though. I just don't like the consistency to highlight with. It's fine to contour to me. I'm not saying the concealer is horrible, but it wouldn't be one of my favorites. But these eyeshadows, get you some. They're very easy to use, very pigmented. 
And one more thing about the, the concealer. After wearing it for a while, I noticed that it started creasing really bad and I just didn't like it. Now this is just my opinion, so you're welcome to try it out for yourself, but it didn't work for me personally. I'm gonna kind of set that in bronze with my fancy Mocha Mommy bronzer. Now I'm just going to put on a little bit of my favorite blush from MAC in the shade Fever. For my under eye, I'm going to go in with the same colors that are on top just to keep everything balanced. First, I'm going to take that teal shade and go down here. And I'm going to go in with the shimmer shades. Finally got some new lash glue. And for lashes, I'm gonna go in with these 3D mink lashes. Really cute, kind of simple. For highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the my Master Chrome in Molten Gold. You can get this from Walmart. Very good cheap highlighter. It's like seven to eight dollars. All right, for lips, I'm gonna go in with my brown lip liner after I sharpen it and line my lips and then I'm gonna go in with my Fenty Gloss in Fussy. All right, so for setting spray, I'm gonna be using my Urban Decay All Nardis Spray. And this is not the Ultra Matte, this is just the regular one because I don't have oily skin. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. This is my take on a little tropical type look. And I really just wanted to use the Zulu palette again. And it came out successful, so that's good. But y'all, these palettes, I cannot stress it enough. These palettes are bomb. So you need to get some. Whether you're a beginner or whether you advanced, these palettes will come in handy. But I hope you guys like this look. Please like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks. Bye.